Hi everyone, I'm Jen Sheffer and welcome to this tutorial on discovery education. In this tutorial, we are going to be looking at how to curate and organize content using the quick list feature. This is one of the discovery ed best practices for success with this platform. So to begin, we are in our teacher dashboard and I'm going to start by clicking on browse subjects. So this is how I can discover content within Discovery Education's library. You can see here I have all the core subject areas as well as health, career, uh, careers and workplace skills, visual and performing arts, multi-language resources. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to click on English language arts. I could look at some of those trending topics, but I, I'm just going to um, head over into English language arts. You can see at the top, I can select the grade band um, for what I teach. So whether I'm high school, middle school, or elementary, I can do that. I also have subtopics, so I can explore composition, grammar, literature, or reading. And these are curated channels by Discovery Ed for each topic. So let's just say I really wanted to zero in on grammar. I can get a, um, even deeper in my filter here with grammatical exceptions, parts of speech, parts of speech in writing. So if I know that I just want general parts of speech and I wanted to start to build the content for my quick list, what I can do is just gonna click on those three dots, add to quick list. I wanna do prefixes and suffixes, add to quick list, parts of speech and writing, so on and so forth. So that's how quickly I can do that. And maybe I wanna do nouns as well and I could go back. I'm going to do grammatical exceptions as well. Now I see um, Discovery Ed Picks, so I see a full video, grammar and action, noun. So if I wanted to dig a little deeper to preview that, I could. And I see the details of this video. I see more videos like this. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and grab some of these. And on this large preview here, I can do add to quick list. So now what I see here, if I click on this X, this is my quick list right here. So I can click on it. You can see 13 items have been added. All of those um, videos and resources and channels that I just added have been um, placed here. And then I have this more actions button so if I know that I want to share just that video, I can share that with my students right into Google Classroom. That's how quick and easy it is to pull something um, into a quick list and then immediately share it with my students. So I could just share it to my class. I can create an assignment, ask a question, make an announcement or create material. So great integration, seamless integration with Google Classroom which I love. The other thing I can do, and this is going to be in a future tutorial, um, is I can create with Studio. So this is going to be an in-depth tutorial on how you can start to really build an engaging, customized learning experience for your student using the platform of what's called Studio in creating different boards or presentations that are tailored to um, either a, a presentation or um, something that's um, more in, in alignment with a project that you might be introducing to your students. Um, you can also, from here, in these three dots, you can add to my content. So it's on a quick list. And now what we can do is add it to the content. So you can see here, I don't have a folder yet, but I'm going to add a folder. I'm gonna call this parts of speech. I click the check mark, I click that down arrow, and then I click on add. And just to verify that I put that piece of content in the correct place, I'm going to click on my content. I see parts of speech, and there is that um, video, the grammar video on nouns that I just added. If I go to quick list, I'm going to see the date that it was added. So if I reverse that, um, I'm going to do the most recent first. So
So I can click on actions and I can do share. Again, Google Classroom is right there. Um, the other thing I want to do is if I hit copy, I can put that in my parts of speech folder. So I can have items in my quick list and then further organize them into folders. So um, Discovery Ed makes it really easy for you as a teacher to stay organized while you curate content and share that content with your students. So I hope you will take advantage of quick list and folders in Discovery Ed and use this excellent platform. Thank you so much for watching.